Hi, I'm Jen with The Travel Woman and today I have a video all about VR. One of my top performing videos is the coolest cruise dining experience. If you haven't watched it, it is right here. But if you have, you're probably wondering, what was that? And I am going to explain it. It is a cool augmented reality experience and I'm also gonna explain the difference between 360 virtual reality and augmented reality and a couple of my favorite VR experiences. If you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe and bell button so you don't miss a future video. First of all, I want to explain the difference between 360 virtual reality and augmented reality. 360 content, usually in video format, is something that you can look up, down, all around you. Virtual reality often incorporates 360 content, but the major difference is that there's often a headset included. So yes, you can look up, down, all around in 360 degrees, but the huge difference is that there are options. Unlike 360, where you're in the passenger seat of someone else's experience that they've created for you, in VR, you are in the driver's seat. You can choose option one or two, door one or two. There are different paths that you can choose from or a virtual reality video game, for example, that you can play. So that is really the main difference between virtual reality and 360. Augmented reality, or AR, is something that adds to your current reality. It can be done digitally or through light projections like the cruise dining experience. Most people have experienced it without even realizing. It is things like Pokemon Go or Snapchat or Instagram face filters. It adds to your reality. Number one, the coolest cruise dining experience. So, you're probably here because you watched that video and you're like, this is mind blowing, what is this? That is what I'm going to explain right now. Basically, my friend invited me to this press cruise event and I honestly did not know what to expect. I didn't even bring my camera. So when I noticed that it was really cool and everyone was overhyping this dessert experience, I was like, uh, took out my phone and recorded this video. So what it is, and the funny part is that I actually recorded the intro to the video at the end because I didn't know what it was that I was experiencing. <laughs> what happens is they sit you down, you have a plate, a physical plate in front of you, and a cup, and a spoon, and everyone else has plates in front of them as well, a whole setting, and you think that you're gonna just be served a normal dessert. However, instead of your average chef, all of a sudden the lights go down, and the projectors are turned on and you see this whole experience unravel, this story unfold. And what happens is this little Le Petit Chef comes out, he comes out of his igloo, rolls up, rolls some snow into a whole scoop that he throws on your plate. And it's a really fun, interactive, funny experience where you basically get to see him prepare a meal so much larger than him as this tiny little 58 millimeter chef. <laughs> so you end up with this whole meal, this whole experience, everyone's laughing, everyone's enjoying it. And I loved this experience because it really is an interactive, dining experience that makes everything taste even better. Yes, that's right, because at the end, the best part is that after this whole light show experience that prepares this fake virtual meal on through lights, through a projector on your plate, the waiters actually come out with the real dessert on a plate for you, including the wonderful flaming little candle. I think augmented reality experiences that go into real life and have the actual product in front of you is the best. Skull Mapping made the video projection by acting out motions in a studio. Then about five weeks later, they edit it into a video that is projected directly onto your plate. Though this light show experience looks super real and almost 3D, it is not a 3D projection, but does incorporate shadows and certain optical illusions to make it look 3D. Number two, I attended another cruise event where I actually got to go up in a hot air balloon through virtual reality. So I've actually wanted to go up in a hot air balloon, but I still haven't done it. However, I've done it through VR, so does that count? <laughs> so the coolest part about this experience was that you walk onto what looks like an actual basket of a hot air balloon. Everything minus the actual balloon. And they give you a headset, they give you earphones, there are fans around you that makes you feel like there's actually wind blowing through your hair and you're actually in the air. So 
when I was doing this whole experience, towards the end, I'm, you know me, I'm taking photos of this, all this stuff, and as I like try to take off my headset to take a photo, I felt like I was about to fall out of the balloon, and I was like, wait, no, I'm still on the ground. Mm -hmm. So when you have an experience like that that is so realistic, that is what VR and augmented reality is all about. Number three, I saw the exhibit Particles of Existence at the Phi Center in Montreal. This was a really cool exhibit where I had two favorite experiences. First of all, my favorite actual interactive VR experience was called Tree Hugger. It requires you to strap on a computer backpack and there are two interactive pieces that you are holding to actually interact with the tree, the sequoia, as you see it growing into the air. My favorite VR video experience there was Isle of the Dogs behind the scenes because you really get to see how the video is made. The film incorporates stop motion, so you see how people move the dog in amazing time lapses mixed with real-time actors saying their lines. So it's a really cool mix of real-time and time lapse, which I haven't seen with VR and I definitely want to explore creating my own content like that. Number four, VR Worlds. VR World New York City is the largest virtual reality experience center on this side of the planet, AKA the Western Hemisphere. It is definitely more geared toward gaming experiences, perfect for a younger audience. My favorite experience had to be the Otherworldly Painting, which allows you to paint in virtual reality. As a creative person, I loved being able to choose my brush strokes, choose the paint color, and paint all the way 360 degrees around me. Number five, the Ride New York City Downtown Experience. The Downtown Experience is unlike any other sightseeing bus tour. It is the world's only traveling theater with virtual reality. They incorporate live music acts and give you a headset so that you can interact and see these historical events happening and unfolding before your eyes while you are passing the actual historical landmarks that they are talking about. Number six, Samsung 837. This is a really cool futuristic playground. Unlike all of the other things on my list, which mostly require tickets, this is a completely free experience in New York City. So all you have to do is walk in, sign a waiver, and you can start experiencing some really cool VR experiences. I definitely recommend this, especially for beginners who have never had a virtual reality experience because they have an intro to VR video that you can watch to really get to know what does VR feel like and if it is something for you. My favorite experience there has to be the 4D roller coaster, which I know you're probably wondering what's the extra 3D, what's, what's the fourth element there? but it was really cool because the seats actually moved, which felt like real life, but I would not recommend it if you do get motion sick easily. <laughs> and that's it. The coolest cruise dining experience explained and my favorite VR experiences here in New York and in Montreal. So if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe and bell button so you don't miss any future videos. As always, say yes to new adventures and I'll see you next time. Bye.